a baby. Let's go. Look at me. I got the glasses. I got the hat. I got the jumper. I got my Zubars. Man. I got my flag. Fuck it now. Let's get this on. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely a part of Bill's Mafia now. So I want to say, my man, what was your name? Chud Muffin. Robert Chudy. Chud Muffin. On Instagram. Thank you for sending me my Bill's Mafia fan pack. Starter pack. Subscriber starter pack? Fan subscriber starter pack? I don't know what you want to call it, but I got it all, man. And so, with that being said, the last video, we looked at... What did we look at? We looked at the 1992 playoff game where they came, they came back from 35 points to 3 down. With uh, 32 unanswered points, it went to 38 all, overtime, and um, the Bills came back and won it. Now I have heard some crazy shit, like they went to four Super Bowls in a row and didn't win any of them. Like, uh, really? You guys had to go through that? So I'm hoping that we might learn a little bit of history and um, just take a, a bit of a behind the scenes look at what it's like to be a Buffalo Bills fan. The documentary is called Barstool Docs Bills Mafia and we're going to get into it. Stay tuned. In western New York, when the winds howl across Lake Erie, in western and all of God's creatures are hibernating. There stands one beast, impervious to the bone-chilling temperatures and soul-decaying frost. Bill's Mafia! ...to the sounds of fractured polyurethane and crushed aluminum. <laughs> oh my god! At Ralph Wilson Stadium, the true gladiators perform outside the Coliseum. <laughs> This is Bill's Mafia. What do they call it? Uh, shit. What is that thing called? It's called, um, tailgating. That's right. Orchard Park, New York. 17 hours to kick off. 17 hours! Since 1994, this game is going to be 370 games in a row. Home and road. I don't miss Bill's games no matter where they are. You're a, you're a legend! Ted Johnson, better known as Pinto Ron, Buffalo Bills fan. I started this in the late 80s, 88, 89, and it was just a couple little gimmicks, a little bit of shenanigans. There's a toilet in there you might be able to see. That's my private beer cooler. <laughs> I just continued more shenanigans every year, and somewhere in the last 30 years it turned into what you see now. The Bills Mafia I first heard of maybe seven or eight years ago. When it first started, it was a, you know, a very small group of people which grew into a fairly large group of people on the Twitter. Lately, it's been a competition here in Buffalo to see how many times you can get on all these social media sites. <laughs> see how many times what? You can get a, lately, it's been a competition here in Buffalo to see how many times you can get on all these social media sites. <laughs> Breaking tables. I've been around this a while, but you know, early in my days, I honestly got to say, I might have engaged in a few activities like that myself, and it, I can kind of remember that. Oh, I'll be there. I'll be engaging. Each generation will reap what the former generation has sown. The Bible says Pinto Ron's descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Psalm 112, verse 2. Here's the dildozer. Yep. Secret Santa gets. Here's my nickname right there. Dildozer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dylan Hayes. I'm Hum Hayes. And we're the Buffalo Dildo Throwers. Oh my god. Uh, came about is I uh, woke up the morning after a Halloween party and we were. Uh, 1970s porn stars as our Halloween costume, and me and my girlfriend, we, uh, we had like a prop, I looked over and saw the dildo, and I'm like, 
that's Tom Brady's dildo that's going on the field. So he snuck it in through his, where his package is, and he goes, all right, this play, it's going. <laughs> Perfect strong toss that was. The ref is like, you know, no one else is gonna touch this. You know, I, I guess I just gotta boot it off the field. Everyone was like, they were just dying laughing. They were like, that oh, would have been you know. fucking funny. My son called me and he's laughing hysterically. I got something great to tell you, Ma. I launched a dildo on the field. It was great. It's awesome. It's gone viral. I'm like, you did what? My mom's been on and off. She kind of rides the wave. I'm like, couldn't you, like, help an old lady cross the street and I could be really proud of you if you're going to throw a dildo on the field? Who does that? Everyone's trying to be, like, the next big thing for the Bills Mafia, so, you know, I think this is just the start. Things could get pretty What's good. next? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Crazy Kent. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Zubas! Zubas arms race of unupsmanship look no further than their neighbors in the grass lot. The The Bills finished the season 7 and 9 and missed the playoffs for the 17th consecutive season, the longest drought in the NFL. Oh, no! The problem with the Bills, I mean, we love them, but the product on the field's obviously sucked for years. So we have our fun with the tailgate, and that's how it all started. Preseason, we wake up, we look at the calendar, and we say, this is the fucking year. Every year, disappointment comes after that. Cue <laughs> 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 yeah. with the tailgate, too. You got to just realize, you're not bringing any of the shit that you go into the game with. It's all staying on the field. It's like a war zone after one of these tailgate games. <laughs> <laughs> The battle is fought on the field in New Era Field. It's not. It's in the grass lot. It is in the grass lot. That's where the battle is. Blue light. Give me some of that blue light. Bill's Mafia extends from the dilapidated war zone of the grass lots to the world-class athletes inside the locker room. Here, here. I think the antics of the Bills Mafia to the people who love football and who who, who come up, you know, partying and, and having a good time. You know, this is this is it. This is the big time. This Bills guy is Mafia. humongous. I saw him in the Top 100 series. Joking me? <laughs> what a freak! That's the the old guard bringing. He's got a. <laughs> Showing these young pups how to do it. He's bringing them along and saying, "Hey, listen. If you love the Bills as much as I do, this is how we honor them." We oh them. my God! And I love this guy. I think we need water. Hose him off. Crazy. We're in the grass lot, baby. We got the Bills Mafia here ready to go. We got a good turnout this year. Everyone's drinking the beers, having fun. Yeah! Oh, I like fire. Just not on me. I don't know. I don't know about opening a can on my head. Oh, the girls are into it too. 
Not a chance in hell. I think it's fucking bullshit. We used to do this shit for fucking years, and now it's a bunch of these goddamn little cunts that have to film everything, so it gets blown out of fucking proportion, and everyone thinks we're a bunch of animals, and ruined my fucking family. Ah! Oh. an anti-cable stuff. If you like it, watch it. If you don't, you don't have to watch it. So go, you know, paint a sweater or something, whatever you do. Pretty crazy. We are the Bill of Mafia. 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 The Bills Mafia. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Fucking loved it. I'm just trying to think. How soon can I get over to America? It's got to happen, man. It's got to happen. It's going to be so much fun. So much fun. So I want to say, guys, any of you Bills Mafia bros, hit me up in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, whether you're from the Bills Mafia or any Mafia, you know, I'm not, I'm not making any allegiances whatsoever. I've got gear from all sorts of teams, but I do know a good party when I see one. And that's certainly a good party. So, with that said, I do want to come back to Australia alive and uninjured, though. Preferably, but you know when you go to when you go to a Bills Mafia tailgate party, anything goes it seems. I'll see you in the next one, guys. If you have liked this one, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll be seeing you very soon. Peace out.